Good afternoon, everybody. Hey, you guys, it's Carrie from Carrie T Says, and today I have a video about sourcing from other places. So a few ways I have been sourcing is through online auction houses and online estate sales. Um, so today I'm going to show you what I won from an online auction estate sale all in one. And this came from another state. I asked them in advance if I won, will you ship? And they said yes. And not only did they ship, but she went to the post office and shipped it for me instead of shipping it through a company, which would have cost me more because they charge you to go pick it up and box it and ship it, which another one I'll show you in the next few days. They, I had to pay for someone to go box it up and ship it to me. It was still worth it. But so today I won different lots from a specific auction, including clothes and shoes. So we'll start from the top. So the first thing I won is this adorable Bowden dress. It is a size US 6 regular. And of course, you know, that's like the Bowden print. How cute is this? has the little Peter Pan collar, has the buttons up the back, and then the Bowden print all the way down. If you guys see anything you like, you know the drill. Send me a message and we'll try and hook you up. So it was a three piece lot and the second one was another Bowden dress and this is a 10 regular. It has navy blue and white stripes, has an orange waistband. It's very thick material. Look at the buttons in the back. How cute is that? Really, really cute. And then the third Bowden dress. This one is an eight long. And it's a brown dress and it crisscrosses in the front, and it has a fit and flare, maxi, uh, midi length, three quarter length sleeves. Here's the back. I love how that drapes in the front. So if you guys want a Bowdoin lot of three dresses, let me know. The next lot that I want is from Flax. And here is the first one. This is, I think they're all size small. So this is rayon and acetate. And I love flax, it says something in the middle. I am youthful and beautiful. I am divine beauty. So you can wear this as a dress. You can wear it as a very long tunic. The next piece of flax I won was this shirt, oversized, size small, button up front, two front open pockets, and it almost looks like a vest. The next piece of flax is a size small, it's a button up blouse. It's two color brown, it's a petite. And here's another size small. This is like, has flounce at the bottom, it's like a Fit and flare at the bottom. And this is the rayon and acetate. The other ones are linen. Long sleeves. Um, there's a few more pieces. So this is a little bit thicker. I love this. I am considerate of others. This is 100% cotton. A 
couple different color stripes. This is size small. I think it's all a size small, except for that one petite. And then we have this one, which is a size small as well. And Utopia is a state of mind. This is linen. Has little cuff sleeves. You can you can wear these open or closed. And this one, I am whole, full, complete in me. This is a linen. Size small, very long tunic, two front pockets. Long sleeves, button. This one's a little heavier. Okay, so next I won this beautiful Karen Millen dress. And um, by accident, when she cut open something, she cut the dress. It was brand new with a tag. It's a silk dress. Um, Karen Walker, not Karen Millen. She makes some of my favorite sunglasses, by the way. And look at this beautiful dress. It's so, so beautiful. Uh, size six. I love it. I love it. I love this dress. Let me just show you. This can be sewn. Um, some batting can be put on the back and it can be fixed if someone wants to fix it. I bought all these clothes for you and then you have to see all these shoes that I won. You're going to die. Wait, where is Okay. So when I think she went to, um, I don't know how she did it, but she cut it. So there's a big hole in it but it fits perfectly so you can put some batting behind it and it can be fixed. It's a beautiful designer dress. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Midi length. And it is all silk. Next, I won this Christian Dior turtleneck and it is a size US 8. But you know, it's Christian Dior is made a little small. So this is really size extra small to a small and it has the number one on it it has the stripes down the arm it's red fitted obviously has some stretch to it so a very tight small extra small christian dior shirt next is my favorite part because this is some of my favorite favorite brand shoes and i can't believe it was all in one I have to decide what I'm keeping, what I'm selling. So let's start from scratch, you guys. Oh, I bought a ton of, um, unbelievable. Has a little scuff there. Fluvog, John Fluvog. And this one comes with the little shoehorn and the dust bag. Some of my favorite shoes. Oh my God. They're known for their unique designs, old, new, the chunky heels, the, um, the, jet, the, the leather, the big, thick rubber soles, comfort. These are a size. Eight. I wear a seven and a half eight, and I always get a size eight in a John Fluvos, Fluvos, Fluvlog, John Fluvlog shoes. So you can see right there, size eight. That also has a little scratch, but I don't care. I love them, love them, love them, love them, love them. Okay. Next pair of shoes is from, is from Miu Miu. Yes. These are from Miu Miu. They're navy blue, penny loafers. 
Uh, the front is a little longer. These are a size 38 and a half. I wear a seven and a half, eight, and they fit me perfectly. I'm just trying to find the other one. Mew Mews. Oh, so beautiful. Let's get some more John Fluvogs. I don't know why I can't speak today. I can't say it. So, these have a little bit more use, but I have to find the other one. The square toe, slip on. Oh my God, are they amazing? These are so comfortable, you have no idea. Let me see if I can find the other one. If not, I'll just keep going. How do I just keep going? So, some more comfort shoes that I love. My first pair of these I got on QVC and I didn't realize how popular they were. And now they're like all over the place and they're um, Alegrias. And these are maroon tie up and they're known for like the front to be like that, but it makes walking really fluid and really comfortable. And I just think they're so cool. You guys, I'm just like, I can't believe I found this auction and she was so kind enough to send this to me because this is like this and what I got you'll see next video or the one after are like my dream auctions okay so these um John Fluvogs were a little bit more worn but I absolutely love them they have so much wear left to them they're like that work boot that old boot and they got the wooden heel oh Right, almost like Doc Martens. They got the ties, they have a little use. I mean, they're definitely a little used, but I have to tell you, I prefer my shoes to be worn in a little because it saves me from having to wear them in. They actually were resold on the front. Everything else is fine. There's a little wear there, nothing much. And then again, these are a size eight. Inside's blue, how cool is that? Let me just show you the leather on these are unbelievable you haven't felt leather until you felt leather like these they have some use i'm okay with it i'm loving these can you believe you guys i found all of this okay here's the other slip-on shoe came with the little the little tag size eight Yep. This look, I thought they was a black. They almost look a little brown, but I think they're black. Okay. Next. <laughs> like the shoes and the boots, but mixed into one. The leather on these are on, on, unbelievable. The game came with a little tag. Come with a little button. Size eight, I believe these are all my size. What to keep, what to sell, I don't know. Oh, they almost remind me of like dance shoes or when you're like, um, I don't know, like the olden days. But this is like my dream, all in one box. All in one box. Here's the other one. Did you guys ever hear of this brand or see them before? They're so expensive. Again, with the, the rubber soles, the most comfortable shoe ever, like they'll last you forever. And the more you use them, the better they get. There's not a lot of shoes you could say that about, but John Fluvogs, Fluvogs, Fluvogs are the best. Here's the other one. Oh, don't you love them? Don't you love them? <laughs> I might be out on my own on these, but I'm perfectly happy because if I don't want them, I want to sell them. They sell for well over $100 used. So I'm happy with that. Now these are fun. Oh, these have the big wooden heel, chunky wooden heel. It has that soft leather.
These are a size eight. They're all, you know, someone must have collected these. And I didn't win all of them, by the way. These are actually a size nine. I lied. These are a size nine. I didn't win all of these. There was a lot I didn't win because there was only a certain amount I was willing to go up to because these shoes can get quite expensive and the resale is very high on them. So people were definitely bidding up on them. So you have any interest in them? These are a size nine. Here's the bottom of these ones. Yeah, I'm not even sure if these ones were ever worn. These ones look almost new. Hmm. Okay, here's the other Allegria one. Allegria, Allegria. I call them Allegria. PG Light. I love these. I love them. I think like the uglier, the better for me. I just love ugly shoes. Okay, so we got, we got a few that came in the dust bag from John Fluvlog, Fluvlog, Fluvlog. Okay. Oh my God. And these ones have that chunky rubber heel. Oh, square toe. These are so awesome. Are these a nine as well? These are a 10. These ones are a 10. See, I thought of you guys. I got a few at other size, not just my size. I've got another pair. Oh, I'm in love. Mary Jeans. You guys, these are a size eight because I, I put these on and walked around my house for a little bit. <laughs> I just wanted to see if anyone would say anything to me. I'm a seven and a half eight and my foot just touches the end of these. So these are definitely good for a seven and a half. Maybe even a seven can wear these. So if you're familiar with these shoes, you know how they run. Okay, and then I got a few in boxes. Um, and the first pair I got in a box were for me. They are on my foot as we speak, and this is what this spawned my happiness, besides all the John Flew vlogs. I've been wanting these forever. I had a pair of um, Jeffrey Campbell's, the high shoes from the Kardashians, um, and I actually got them in Canada when my son was on a tour for the Adams family and the first day I wore them I slipped on ice and I fell on my behind scraped up the whole front of them they cost me a fortune I saved all my money I got for Christmas that year to buy them and I scraped the front of them completely off hurt myself and so I never got them again so I said when I saw these I loved them I'm like but they have the rubber bottoms they um are the sneaker version so when I saw these, they're used, they're worn in. I love them. I won them. I couldn't be more grateful to have them. And the last two pair of shoes in this big auction I won are another pair of Mew Mews. These come in the box. These are a size eight. They're, they have the dust bags and they're pointed toe, black, glitter, shoes and how wonderful these look with a pantsuit jeans are anything they're us they come to a size eight so we got some mew mews let me just show you the other one and these pointed toes are coming back they're absolutely beautiful i know you guys can you believe i want all this I, I'm very happy this and, and the other auction I won. I'm like, some of my favorite things I ever won. And then this last pair of shoes I'm in love with. These are probably staying with me. They had a whole bunch of Fly Londons and I missed out on a lot of them because I was only willing to go to a certain price because I already spent a lot of money. And these came in the box. They are called, um, they're called, I don't know. They're blue and black. Oh, 
I'm so in love with these. Blue suede. They're like chuck -a shoes. And they have like the holes in them to keep your feet nice and cool. So in love. Like, what do I do with all these shoes now? I just have to pick a few out to keep. Then I'll share the love with you guys. You guys, did you have a favorite pair? Did you have a favorite pairs, more than one? Did you guys want any of the flax stuff or the Bowden stuff? Or how about the Karen Walker dress? I don't know. This is another way that I have sourced. I'm in love with this stuff. I have to figure out what I'm keeping, what you guys can have. If there's something you want, send me a message. You guys, I hope you're doing okay. I know it's getting harder and harder to stay in here in New York. I know like the Apex is supposed to start today. Um, I tried to send my husband to the post office that his mask and his gloves to send some stuff and it was closed. So I don't know if it was closed for lunch, which they never do, or because it's supposed to be like everyone, on high alert, everyone really needs to stay in today. Um, I don't know. I left packages out for the mailman and I leave him toilet paper every time I leave him packages and um, I put, you know, gloves and, and wipes and stuff out for him um, because I really appreciate him working and somebody is here to deliver something. Okay, not the mailman though. Anyway, I hope you guys are good. I'm really thinking of you all. Come to my Facebook page, say hello. Let's all band together. We're here for each other. I know everyone's having some good days and some bad days. I'm here for you. Just remember to be you. Okay, everyone, until next time, ciao. Bye.